good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Majoring in the minors or minoring in the majors. What a thought, huh? You got to figure out where you are. We all do in this here time of change that is imminent and evident in our personal lives and in our communities, world, and collectives, in our leaders, as a matter of fact, majoring in minors or minors majoring. All right. So here, I was listening to um, Sun Guru, Sun Garu Guru. He is known for facilitating an engineer management mind concept and um, he's a guru that's full of wisdom and one of the things that I heard him discuss um, or give a pointer as is um, the lotus flower and how it goes through um, the process of life and the quote was so beautiful I'm going to um, read it to you. Uh, Where are we? Oh, it says, be like a lotus. Let the beauty of your heart speak. Be grateful to the mud, water, air, and light. Um, It says so much, so few words, but so much. Also, it goes on to say, If you feel lost, disappointed, hesitant, or weak, return to yourself, to who you are here and now. When you get there, you will discover yourself like a lotus flower in full bloom, even in a muddy pond, beautiful and strong. And it reiterates, be like a lotus. Let the beauty of your heart speak. And what I heard him say from there is something that we all experience. I will say that I have. And it takes time um, to understand when you've been through disappointment, um, weakness, feeling lost. But one of the things that he added is, is if you can be as the lotus while you're going through disappointments, hurt, pain, shame, and anything that life gives you, Um, you will have given back to life what you were supposed to. In essence, what that means is, is that there's a principle that many of us overlook, which is sowing and reaping. Until we get the wisdom of sowing and reaping, we don't understand that someone has to stand as the light. Someone has to stand as um, the lighthouse. In the darkness, the lighthouse is always shining. And people will take the light of the lighthouse for granted because it's what it's built to do. But it shines um, for miles and miles away. It is a signpost, that light, for guidance in the dark to ships and people that are out in the waters, actually. The the lighthouse is... I mean, Lighthouse isn't just there to be there, you know, for those that do not know. And we use it as a um, example, because if we become, as this quote says, or, you know, as the guru uh, spoke of, if we become so determined to be who we are in our development, that means that no one, no thing can change us to be who we were when we came in this world because none of us were perfect. And what we're doing is working out the errors, even as Christ and many of um, the archetypes, the um, masters spoke, um, there is a cross that we must bear. That means that Jesus spoke of going to the cross and he told Peter to back off because Peter was telling him that he couldn't leave them 
and all of this stuff, but it was the process. You got to leave people behind in order to go to the cross and cross out that era. And it's the same dynamics of the lotus flower because the lotus flower comes through muddy waters. Muddy waters, you can't see anything if you were a flower. But once the, the, the lotus comes up through the water, you see its petals, the leaves, and then you see how it sits on the leaves, but you also, you see the beauty. You can see within the beauty of the lotus. And this is what we are actually being called to um, um, resemble or look like, you know, to um, the demon or the devil or to the person that's hard hearted. They want to push your uh, flower down. They don't want your flower to grow. That means that you have got to be determined. No one knows what's going on down in the mud, in the darkness. There's a part of you that's, you know, got a DNA seed that says determination that Christ or whatever your religious um, foundation has been um, says you're determined to do this. Look at nothing but what I am giving you to do. Focus. It's time for you to rebirth, recreate. And so you come up as a lotus or you look at the lighthouse and you continue to stand strong in the structure shining your light you don't allow all the extremities of the world to take you outside of yourself during the time and the process of disappointment you're coming back to yourself as this quote says you're coming back to yourself as the lotus, as love. And that means you, ha- you have to come back within. That means that every time your mind is distracted about um, the outer extremities, things that you're going to, if you could just come back in and find the importance of your heart and your heartbeat, you will soon be so focused that all hell might be breaking out around you, but you won't be moved because... You are centered and this too shall pass. All of the outer extremities, um, the issues, it shall pass. If you have a bad relationship um, that you're going through, your focus within and your praying and your meditation is um, most important. Because if you don't get to that part of within you, That means that you're going to attract that same thing again, maybe in a different source. And the lesson will not have been learned. So the greatest thing about the lighthouse is, is no one knows how the water actually can overflow up on the beach and hit it. You know, time brings a change in the foundation of the lighthouse and it has to be repaired. It's no different than humans, but the repair that human beings have to gravitate to is their own determination and the repair within because it's not just outside that there are hurt and pains that are showing up the hurt and pain is inside that's why it's manifested out that's why we get pictures or illusions delusions of people that come into our life that's what they are they're illusions of who we've been within. So if we let go of the illusions within, or like I taught a five week series of the shadow class, letting go of the shadow um, or embracing the shadow because it's part of what we need to catapult us into the next season of our life. The shadow is the darkness of who we are and the light. And we're not taught on the darkness. We're not even taught about mm, how to embrace our weaknesses. Many of us are taught that we only gratify and you know, um, strength and strength. That's not what we do. We got to learn what we don't know, which is why are you weak in that area? Why do you feel like you're damaged? Why are you acting codependent? Why are you afraid to be alone? Why are you this, that, and the other? Why aren't we asking ourselves questions? Why aren't we determined? Why do we feel defeated? Why? And when we come up with the answer of why I feel hopeless, why I am depressed, then you begin to work into strength. Strength on what? Something you hadn't exercised. The lotus is struggling through mud. Mud in many cases is heavy. It can be made out of water and sand. 
water and dirt, but it's a heavy factor. It's a earth factor, right? And so the lotus struggles through this. It's the same as the struggles that we're given. The flower is more fragile than the human body, I believe. I'm not a doctor or scientist, but I, you know, work in the mental health field. And so I know the power of exercising the mind in the proper places, which means why do I feel like I cannot make it over this mountain? It's not someone else's mountain. It's mine. The mountain of disbelief. Why do I feel this way? And so once I make questions um, to myself, then I begin to see that it's my own thinking and I begin to uh, think differently. And this is where um, the winning factors are. And so always be the victor. Don't just say it. Exercise why you believe you're the victorious one. Always exercise that and speak to yourself about it. Remember, I'm looking at the man in the mirror. It's no one else that you can change. You only manifest people in your life, work-wise, relationship, even our children, so that we can learn from them. Children are a duplication of who we are. They have our DNA. So if there's any components of them that we don't like or we're struggling with, think about what we still have to change within ourselves and even generational issues, right? That generational issue came up with David and Absalom. So I am going to leave you here and you can email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. Become a part of our community. Uh, We have an app on um, Wix. Um, at ifwbuilders.com. We also have um, another website that you can go to uh, for coaching and counseling at www.wealthyliving.org. And that is www.wealthyliving.org. That's where you can become a part of the community. We have a community for women and men on Facebook. I am a woman of power. You can send a request and we will allow you to be a part of it. We welcome you. It's a time for groups and coming together and support. So be blessed. And my name is Kim Warner and I love giving you wisdom and the wisdom comes from my own life. I've been through a lot of things and we'll talk about this more. That's why I understand the lighthouse and the Lotus because of my experiences. I am a victorious woman.